The main changes that have happened in the last 10 years that have revolu revolutionized open heart surgery is, I would say, the number one is uh, use of minimally invasive techniques, smaller incisions, uh, smaller openings in the chest, uh, smaller incisions in the side of the chest that gives us access to all the valves, uh, all the valve operations that we need to do. Um, about 10, 15 years ago, um, when one took uh, pieces of vein from the leg, it was a long incision expanding, starting from the, the going through the entire leg. However, now we take uh, those pieces of vein through an endoscope, uh, and that has dramatically changed the recovery for patients with heart surgery. So it, it's not uncommon for patients to stay in the hospital four or five days and kind of get back to um, uh, a routine uh, even a few weeks after open heart surgery. In the past, you know, older patients, and I don't want to give a particular age, but patients who probably couldn't withstand the stress of open heart surgery with their chest open, uh, etc., uh, now can undergo heart surgery through smaller incisions. Uh, for example, patients who have bad lung disease uh, were, were poor candidates for the traditional open heart surgery. Now using smaller incisions uh, and uh, has enabled a lot of these patients to undergo open heart surgery. Another thing that has revolutionized uh, um, the way we treat valve disease uh, is is the TAVR operation or what is referred to as transcatheter aortic valve replacements in which uh, uh, the same aortic valve uh, that's used for open heart surgery can now be delivered uh, and replace one's one's diseased aortic valve through a small incision in the in the groin or the side of the chest and for that we don't have to open the in the entire sternum uh, Families of loved ones uh, undergoing heart surgery should uh, should expect uh, someone who's going to be a little down for a, a few days after heart surgery. We typically send patients home after heart surgery to be taken care of by their loved ones. However, if someone is older uh, and doesn't have much help at home or has to, you know, climb couple of flights of stairs uh, to, to get to their uh, bedroom and their bathroom, we, we typically recommend a, a rehab stay of a week or two. Uh, but patients, you know, after they get home in a week can, can shower, they can uh, uh, ride in a car, they can walk to the grocery store, uh, carry a small bag of groceries. Things they can't do for about a month is drive a car, um, you know, play contact sports, uh, maybe golf. Uh, lift heavy things, uh, strenuous exercise, but typically they can go back to work in four, in four to six weeks and some of our patients even go back to a desk job in, in, in a few weeks. The typical rehabilitation that a patient undergoes after open heart surgery is, is a few weeks of uh, rehab therapy. Um, we have trained uh, a, re a rehab uh, a health personnel that are dedicated to taking care of patients after open heart surgery. If patients go to a rehab home, then they get you know 24-7 rehab while they're in a rehab home. For the vast majority of patients who go home, home after heart surgery, uh, we have a, a family member drive them you know three or four days a week uh, to a, re a rehab center, which are you know all over the tw Twin Cities, uh, where they typically put on a rehab. They you know taught small weight training just to get them back to their functional uh, state. Uh, as soon as possible after heart surgery. So the, in essence, uh, the rehab program is, is, is essential, but is very well tolerated by patients after heart surgery. I think the expertise for patients uh, looking for open heart surgery at the University of Minnesota is as follows. I think we have a team approach. Uh, there's very close communication between the cardiologist who see these patients and the surgeons who deliver open heart surgery uh, operations. Um, I think that close communication and teamwork gets patients to uh, surgery much quicker uh, at the University of Minnesota than other places. Uh, plus, we have our own uh, rehab program here that helps transfer these patients um, to rehab, whether it's as an inpatient or an outpatient, so they can get their entire pre surgical care and post all in one location by the same group of, of, of healthcare personals.